new release of Home Assistant was more or less all about the voice or talk, talk, talk. But there was actually one tiny small addition to Home Assistant that in my opinion has went unnoticed. Today we are going to look at the Android TV integration inside Home Assistant. Actually, Android TV Remote. We'll start in a couple of seconds. The 2023.5 release of Home Assistant has brought one breaking change, which really did break my system, and that is a change to Android TV. Android TV is no more called Android TV, and in fact it's called Android Debug Bridge. And since this update, I'm having issues with it, but that's something that I will be fixing later on. But one additional change or new integration is Google TV slash Android TV Remote. Well, let's look at what you need to do to integrate it inside Home Assistant. First things first, of course, you have to have Android TV with compatible Android TV Remote. In my case, I'm using Google Chrome TV something 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 device that does arrive with the Google Remote. And that remote will be added to Home Assistant. If it was not auto-detected, you need to click on a plus sign on Add Integration, type in Android, select Android TV Remote, and for example, set up another instance, type in the IP address of the device. But since my remote has been detected by Home Assistant, I can click on Configure. If you did set up everything correctly and your Android TV device can wake up your TV, if it's off, just click on Submit. The PIN code should now be visible on your TV. Type it in and click on Submit. Select the area and finish. And that's it. We now have glorious Android TV remote integration. Click on device. And actually we only have one entity, on and off. With this on and off toggle switch, you can turn on or turn off your TV. And that's it. Hope you find this video and this inter... No, 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 sorry. To have just a switch to turn the TV on and off would be quite useless. Let's see what else we can do with this integration. Actually, you can start, yes, start the applications that are already installed on your Android TV. I don't have that much apps on my Google Chromecast for TV or whatever it's called, because we all know that Google is not that good with optimizing memory. According to the news, the next release should be better at that, but you know, you can only install one or two apps on it and the memory is already full. But for the purpose of this video, let's play with the typical usual apps that we all use. Netflix, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max and YouTube. So what you have to do to start those apps when you have no entities and no ability to control them. For that we will look at services, but before that let's see where I got all that info from. On the Home Assistant community forums there is a post called Android TV App Links Deep Linking Guide. And I must thank Tronicos for this post here. This post will give you information on how to deep link or app link apps that are already installed on your Android TV and start them from Home Assistant. In terms of automations, what for example could you do is when you say assist start my movie time, it could dim the lights, start the TV and open your favorite media streaming platform. For example, blah blah blah. Here you will find information on how to find URLs, how to get that information with ADB access if you have it, how to get this Android manifest XML without ADB access and examples what you need to search for and what does it mean or how does that translate into services in Home Assistant. For example, in this example, intent filter action Android name android.intent.action.view is related to data Android scheme Plex. That means that you can use activity Plex to start Plex if Plex is, for example, installed on your Android TV. There is also a list or collection of deep links for apps, which I did test with the apps that I have installed. 
and here you can see what you need to paste or insert into this service data activity call to open various apps. For example, we already said Plex is Plex like this. For Netflix, you need to copy this full path or URL. In case of YouTube, you have to test what will work on your system. For example, for me on the Google Chromecast for whatever TV, this first one didn't work, but this one, vnd.youtube, this whole URL here did work. I hope that this list will be expanded and if any of you has any favorite apps that are not here and does manage to find deep link to it, please post it in this topic so we can have a comprehensive list of everything that works and what you need to do to start them. To test everything and prepare for the automation that you want to create, go to developer tools, services, type here remote, turn on, target will be your Android TV remote, and then you want to go to YAML mode. This part here, service and the target is already pre-filled. We want to add data here. Type now activity and paste whatever path URL or deep link or app link you intend to call here. In my case, this will be YouTube. If you want to test it, click on call service. Quick note, if the TV was off and you press this call service, in my case, the result for me was that TV would just turn on and switch to the Android TV. If on the other hand, Android TV was already open and I did press this button, it would open the app itself. Let's go home and let's test something else. If you are subscribed to Disney+, Plus, this here would be the link that you need to input to start Disney+. Plus. One thing I noticed for Disney+, Plus is that if you press that button, it will open the selection to select the identity or the profile that is currently watching Disney+. Plus. Let's go back to home screen and let's now try HBO Max. For HBO Max, this is the URL probably in the United States. Unfortunately for me, here in Europe, Croatia, this URL doesn't work. So I will have to investigate and find the XML file and see what I need to enter here to be able to open HBO Max from within Europe or from within Croatia. I don't know where the limitation is. In case of Netflix, use this activity, call service, and it should open Netflix. I did cancel my Netflix subscription, so it is just trying to log me back in and yeah, take my money. If you would be using MB, this here would be the app link. For Plex is this one here. Twitch, you can use Twitch Home or Stream or Game or Video Clip, Search Browse Channel User, whatever to open it up and so on. Don't forget to check other posts here to see if somebody has added some of the applications that are not listed above, but you yourself are using it. And of course, if you do find the link, app link, deep link to any of the apps that you are using and that are not listed here, you can add them here and help out the community. As I mentioned, there are a lot of ways on how you can use both the Google TV remote and this deep linking or app linking inside your automations. One of that would be, as I mentioned, automation that could be triggered to dim the lights, start the TV, turn on the Chromecast device, and then open whatever app you normally are using to watch TVs, movies, or whatever else you are watching. I don't judge you yet. If you find any additional use of the Android TV remote, such as, for example, to automatically start a playlist to play YouTube music or whatever music platform you are using to play videos on your TV, drop me a link. I really would like to see and test that one out. But until then, even with this hidden functionality, I think that this is a great addition to Home Assistant and I hope a lot of you will be able to find a good use for the Android TV remote in your Home Assistant setup. But I also want to take this opportunity to thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become my YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. And let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below. 
and for just two euros or two dollars per month you can become youtube channel member or go to my merchandise store and buy something there i will be seeing you next time until then bye bye and have fun